Hello, my name's Dave Suckling and welcome to another episode of Fresh Off The Press English. Today we're talking about exercise. Just 23% of US adults get enough exercise. CDC reports. So here we go. Exercise. We all know what exercise is. Do you get enough exercise? I don't know. I ride my bicycle every day. Every day you ride the bicycle. Exercise. What exercise do you do? CDC. Now the CDC is just an American department of government called the uh, Center for Disease Control. And obviously there's a relationship between getting enough exercise and being healthy and catching diseases. So that's why it's a CDC report. Thursday, 29th of June, 2018. This is from CNN. About a quarter of US adults meet guidelines for both aerobic and muscle strengthening exercise in their spare time. Guidelines. Now, guidelines is just almost like rules, but not quite rules, not laws, just suggestions of what you should do. It's a guideline, something to help you find your way, something to help you know what to do, what you should do. It's not a law, it's not a rule, but it's a general push towards some kind of action. It's a guideline. Aerobic. Aerobic exercise. Now, aerobic means with oxygen. And what we mean by that is, is that the type of exercise that you're doing is not leaving your blood with no oxygen. It's relaxed exercise, maybe jogging or light swimming. Relaxed exercise so that the energy that you use, your body still has oxygen inside it. The opposing type of exercise is called anaerobic. Now anaerobic exercise is, is exercise where you push your body so much that your blood is lacking in oxygen. It's very, very hard exercise. Anaerobic. But here we're talking about aerobic exercise. The US Department of Health and Human Services recommends that people engage in at least 150 minutes of moderate physical activity each week. Recommends. Again, a recommendation, a suggestion. This is what I think you should do. I recommend you do this. Recommend. Engage in. Okay? To engage in something means to do something. To be involved in something. I'm engaged in doing something. Right now I'm engaged in trying to figure out which customer I should sell my product to. I'm engaged in doing something. It literally means I'm doing something. Engaged in. Moderate. Moderate. Now moderate means not too much, not too little. In the middle. Moderate literally means middle. Moderate. Not too much, not too little. Moderate. People in professional and managerial occupations were more likely to meet the federal guidelines for adequate exercise. Managerial managerial occupations. Now, of course, occupations means job, your work, your occupation is your job, your work. Managerial occupations means work of managers, being a manager, being maybe, basically I would say a, a pencil pusher, somebody who sits down most of the day. People whose job usually doesn't involve much physical activity, managerial occupations. Most of the time you're sitting down in meetings. 
adequate. Adequate just means enough. Enough. Adequate can mean good enough. Normally good enough, yeah, enough. Not great, not bad, it's adequate. It's enough. It's imperative for people to find ways to exercise and take ownership of their health if they want to ward off illness. Imperative. Imperative. Now, imperative means very, very important, almost essential, we might say. It's essential. You must do something. It's imperative that you do this. Very, very important, almost saying you must do it. It's imperative. Ward off. Ward off. Now, to ward something off is to keep it away from you. To prevent it from coming to you, you ward it off. You keep it away from you. We do exercise to ward off illness. Ward off. To keep it away from you. Thank you for watching this episode of Fresh Off The Press English. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to see more videos. And I hope I can see you tomorrow. Right now, I'm off to do some exercise. See you next time.